What's good, Ravens fam? So, Ravens, DBs. Are we really that stacked? Let's get to it. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat. Purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutties. So, a couple of, couple of weeks back, I believe. Uh, they went, they went to uh, Cancun. One, two, three, Cancun. Uh, what's the Deshaun Elliott, Marlon Humphrey, my boy MP Juice Man, Tavon Young, Geno Stone. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Anthony Levine, uh, Nigel, Nigel Warriors. He was a lot of them. Oh, he might have could have been more. But that right there is crazy. Like, they had practice and everything, you know, when, when they were having practice. But the bond is like, wow. And you think about where we came from, from when that number 29 Earl Thomas was here. You've seen a lot of broken, like, no good communication with Chuck Clark, and I think that's why Chuck Clark hit him, or he hit Chuck. I can't remember, but that this the craziness. But you see how that turns out, and now a couple of what two years I believe it has been, where you see them getting together, a lot of uh, a lot of communication with each other. Outside of football, that builds that brother's bond. Like, I seen a picture of Martin Humphrey at his new house. And who was there? Jimmy Smith. It could have been some other people as well, but it only showed Jimmy Smith on his Instagram. And I'm like, this is, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hear some teams, they only just tolerate each other. But this right here, that's. That's special. That's special. And we all know who's our top dog for the DBs. That is that man, Marlon Humphrey. Mr. Fruit Punch himself. But then I heard Marlon Humphrey as well speak about on the podcast. He spoke about the brotherhood as well, but they was asking him about, you know, MP Juice Man. And he was like, he's one of the realest, coolest dudes but one of the smartest dudes. And he's like, he learned that he's learning a lot from him. And I'm like, so you learn from Jimmy Smith. When, when Jimmy Smith was out there, he can lock you down when he's healthy. Then on top of that, you got a uh, MP Juice Man comes in. Pretty young man, pretty young age, young man. And as well, been to the Pro Bowl, leading the league in interceptions for since he's been in the league. And now you're learning from him. Wow. Like, wow. And you just think about Ball and Humphrey learning from them. I think what's that Brandon? What, uh, what was that Brandon Stevens and all the all the just the young young guys we have these rookies or second year players we have if Tavon Young can come back healthy and play a full season <laughs> Chuck Clark and Deshaun Elliott they did their thing you know I wish they like had more turnovers but. They did their thing. But man, I know, knock on wood, I know everybody can't stay 100% healthy this year, but man, with Marlon Humphrey, MP Juice Man, then Tavon in the slot, then you got Jimmy out there as well. You know they're going to be doing a lot of full wide receiver, and Jimmy can stick to them tight ends too. That's what a lot of people didn't think about. 
Jimmy can stick to them tight ends. Hold them down good. You know what I'm saying? But, man, that'll be sweet. That will be sweet. And you know more than Humphrey also said that he's working on getting more interceptions. That's one thing he did lack was catching an interception. Now, he can do the tackling. He can force the fumbles. Like, the year before, he wasn't doing it like that. So, it seems like each off season he's working on something to get better at. Each, each, each step by step. And I believe that's what he told the coach. He wants to get better at something each year. So he could put all that together. That would be nice. Because you already covered good. Your best, to me, in my opinion, he's best covering on the outside. He's covered in the slot before, but to me, he's best covering on the outside. Because he can manhandle with the big boys. He's ridiculous strong and fast. But anyway, so he already got the covering down. He can do the forced fumbles. He got that down. This year, his hit, if his interceptions step up, and you combine all three of those, the tackling. Well, no, four of those. The tackling, the covering. Force fumble and interceptions. That right there. That's like a creative player on that terrible game, Matt. That could it could work. That could work. Because he gotta he might have to, in order to meet him in in order for him to get them interceptions, he might have to do like MP Juice Man. Which is you gotta take them. You gotta take them the risk. Make it look like the person is open when they're actually not. Cause he he used to be Marlon Humphrey used to be a track star. But man, all these DB just Cancun and oh man, that brotherhood. I can't remember when the last time I seen. Well, social media wasn't that that big like it is now. Back in the day. But I can't. I remember hearing Ed Reed talk about, you know, going to Ray Lewis' house or they going to his house or something like that for, you know, study. But they really didn't talk about hanging out like that with each other, you know. But it could happen. You never know. But still, that's. Man, that's sweet. And I wire it. I wire receivers doing that. I wonder if our wire receivers are doing that. Anyway, anyway. But that's just something to think about, y'all. Just could this year be one of the best years for our DBs? The, the group we have now, could it be? Y'all tell me what y'all think. I believe it could. I believe it could. With that, with that bonding, the communication should be on point. Hopefully, it be on point. But y'all tell me what you think. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. Thanks for the support. I think this year could be one of the best for the DBs.